This is the Soulverse Podcast, episode 24. I am Jessica Del Mar. I assist in strengthening your knowledge of who you truly are as a powerful creator being during these powerfully shifting times. In this episode, we are going to continue talking about truth versus illusion, awakening to the physical um, in terms of sifting and sorting truth and illusion in your physical reality because we're shifting into 5D not as only consciousness or non-physical beings, but as physical beings and creating a physical, tangible 5D reality. We're going to approach this reptilian agenda information through the lens of oneness and through this greater frequency of oneness um, and just relaying the information of what's going on right now and how this is so important um, regarding the shifting of your physical reality and planet. The stage is set for the next chapter of your awakening. For those of you who are able to identify truth both within and without, which we spoke further about in the last episode in terms of how to navigate your physical reality, holding a frequency of truth within. So if you haven't yet listened to that episode, I'll put a link to that episode 20 um, in the description. So for those of you who are able to identify truth with both within and without, You must know that there is now an open doorway to exit the stretching nonsensical portal that your current collective is in or wonderland which is what we describe it as because it's very distorted it's very wobbly it's very warped um so right now if you're able to get to a place of of really opening up and knowing what truth is within as as a spiritual being and and without as a physical being then you now have this powerful opportunity to exit this wonderland space or this sort of house of illusions or house of mirrors space, if you will, and begin your next journey, which is a journey of integrating 5D within the collective consciousness. The collective consciousness is dominantly vibrating at 3D vibration and integrating a higher consciousness into a lower vibrational mind is not an easy feat. So this is a powerful place for light workers to be because now you know where you are in terms of truth, both within and without, and you can now use your power to um, make a larger dent in the shifting of our collective consciousness because we're moving not only as individuals, but as an entire collective, as an entire planet, as an entire solar system, as an entire universe. So we're connected to the all. We're not just um, individual uh, in our experience. This is an entire oneness effort. But like we said, the 3D collective consciousness is very low vibration. Um, so in this episode, we're going to talk about uh, sort of what we can do in the shifting of the consciousness, but also how the consciousness got there in the first place. Where you stand, you must know that it has been attained by you. You have come this far and climbed this high of a mountain, starting from where your collective consciousness was or is right now, which is low vibration, a 3D experience, a 3D vibration, and rising into a 5D vibration. And so even though the integration of higher consciousness in a low vibrational mind is not easy, it is absolutely possible and absolutely attainable and has already been achieved by many individuals such as yourself if you're a light worker being in this place of knowing truth both within and without. The next step is a collective awakening. Do you remember where you were when you received your energy awakening? Do you remember the moment that triggered awakening within you? Or has awakening always sort of slowly been integrating within you since birth? There are many different types of experiences when it comes to awakening. None are the same. All are unique to the individual. Awakening can integrate slowly within individuals or fast. When it comes to a collective awakening, the collective mind works a bit differently than the individual mind, although 
It's always the same at the same time, micro and macro. But this is because the collective mind is part of a greater body. Your individual human minds can be seen as cells or rather neurons within the greater body of your collective. Neurons work to transmit information throughout the body. And so every light worker who has awakened acts as an awakened neurotransmitter. Only awakened neurons can communicate with each other in a greater body. This is because they are not a vibrational match to the unawakened cells or neurons. So this is just a vision that was shown to me. I don't know if this is scientifically correct. I didn't really look into it, um, but it's more of just to kind of get us to understand what's going on. Um, so what came through is only awakened neurons can communicate with each other in the greater body. This is because they are not a vibrational match to the unawakened cells or neurons. Meaning, if awakened neurons tried to communicate information to an unawakened neuron or cell, the information would not transfer. The information would be blocked because the unawakened neuron does not hold the capacity to understand the information. And so the information would just sort of go out into the ether and not be received by the unawakened neuron. And so because of this, there are several different communication networks that are happening within the greater body. However, the greater collective mind must begin to streamline all of the scattered information or the scattered communication networks. It cannot continue to function efficiently if the mind is scattered and not focused. Think of all the different communication patterns going on in the greater collective mind due to duality consciousness. There are so many layers of thinking thoughts and so much resistance going on. So you can compare this sort of greater communication network in the greater collective mind as compared to schizophrenia in a human mind, but it's happening within your greater collective mind. So energy within your greater collective mind must be streamlined and aligned not to human thought, which has taken over the collective mind for the past many years and years and years, but the collective mind must be streamlined to divine thought, which is directly connected to the source within the greater body. This is very similar to the changes that have been going on in your own individual awakening. Your individual mind, which was once ruled by your own individual and egocentric thought system, beliefs, illusions, and programs, had nothing to do or very little to do with the connection to your limitless source within, but had everything to do with your limiting ego. Your collective mind is going through the same transition of power, moving away from the limiting mindset of humans and integrating a limitless, greater divine mind connected to the source within the greater divine body that you all are part of. The question now is how is this transition of power occurring? This has a lot to do with your part in the greater solar system body. Your awakening is not just individually, it is not just collectively, it is not just planetary, it is not even just galactically, but it is universally and beyond. And so there is an infinite macro and micro spinning evolution energy taking place that is described as an awakening. But really, it is simply just your greater universe evolving into its next stage of life kind of like how an adolescent turns into a young adult. There are many growths, shifts, transformations that take place in the body. Your solar system plays a great role in the evolution of your universe because Earth is a playground for lower dimensional consciousness. Essentially, your human mind is not the same between a five-year-old and a 35-year-old. And so, as a pit of lower dimensional consciousness, your solar system and a few others 
need an extra boost, if you will, to get in alignment with the greater universal body. This boost is coming from your sun. All suns are connected to the greater body and act as neurotransmitters for the greater universal body. Suns communicate information to their solar system, just like within your physical mind, the neurons communicate information throughout your body. However, in your solar system, in this solar system that Earth is part of, a type of barrier, if you will, was created around Earth and around um, some other planets is what came through in this solar system as a way to trap souls in energy cycles. These barriers were put in place by lower dimensional and lower vibrational life forms, such as the reptilians, who essentially took over the earth plane for their own advancement. These actions by the reptilians were put in place over many thousands of earth years ago, with the goals of slowly eroding away earth's free will plane and using the earth's experience as a honey trap to reel in and enslave souls for the benefit of the reptilians and other lower vibrational life forms which feed on lower vibrational energy. Because earth had fallen into lower vibrations and lower dimensions after the fall of Atlantis and Lemuria, it entered into the playground area of other lower dimensional and lower vibrational life forms, meaning other higher vibrational life forms and higher frequency energy or beings could only watch as lower dimensional beings played with the earth. This is because the vibration of the earth plane no longer aligned to the vibration of higher dimensional or higher frequency beings. When earth existed and exists in higher vibrations and higher frequencies or higher dimensions, this is when it enters into the playground of higher dimensional and higher frequency beings, thus allowing higher dimensional beings to open into the earth realm in their form, which they have done before in earth's history when earth existed in higher dimensional spaces. But in a lower vibrational, lower dimensional earth space of 3D, the only way for higher dimensional beings, higher frequency energy to assist earth, which was in a lower dimensional, lower vibrational place, was for their souls to incarnate or transfer over to human form and birth into the lower dimensional experience on the ground level. Another way for higher dimensional or higher frequency beings and galactic assistance to open onto Earth was through the mind and consciousness of high vibrational humans who could receive the calls and messages of higher dimensional, higher frequency assistance and then relay it to the world. And of course, many of those higher dimensional beings or higher frequency energy that incarnated into the earth plane were the ones to attain higher vibration upon the earth plane to receive those communication signals and messages from their galactic families or from their um, source energy aspects to then relay it out into the world. Now that Earth is opening into higher vibrations, it allows for higher dimensional beings to get closer in assisting Earth's evolution. And this also means physically closer, but a physical manifestation of higher dimensional or, or higher frequency galactic beings or um, dimensional beings will only happen when there's a vibrational match to the physical plane of earth. Like we mentioned before within the collective mind, awakened neurons cannot communicate with unawakened neurons because the information will just not transfer, there'll be a block there. The same thing goes with a higher vibrational sun in our solar system trying to transfer source information to its planets. 
the planets that have been essentially hijacked, if you will, under lower dimensional and lower vibrational rule have been unable to receive many of the sun's messages from source. However, many individuals who have been able to attain higher vibrations have been able to receive these messages, downloads, and energy upgrades, integrate it within themselves, and also help to relay it and open it within others. The planet as a whole, however, has been blocked from receiving it for the most part. But we are in exciting times. Lightworkers have opened a sort of gateway, if you will, more than halfway open to receive information from the sun. This has been happening for quite some time now. You may have already noticed within the past few years that the sun is bigger and brighter in your sky. We also talk about um, the sun in one of our very early videos. I'll post a link to that video below in terms of the 3D sun and the 5D sun. But right now, what's going on is it's kind of solidifying that the, um, the doorway or the gateway to receiving information from the sun, which was once blocked for the most part, is now almost, is now more than halfway open um, to receive all, all of the, the information from the sun. And the sun's size, the changes that we're seeing in the sun and in our sky, is the physical manifestation of the opening of this gateway that we're speaking about upon Earth that receives more of the sun's knowledge and information. This also means that the barrier around Earth and other planets that were affected is becoming very weak, much more weak than 50% is what, is what came through. It is almost fully gone. It, I think it also directly connects to what people talk about as the veil and how the veil is thinning um, and, and how the veil is so thin right now. What came through as I brought through more information about this barrier is that the barrier really kind of, it connects me back to the ozone layer. I'm not too sure, I'm not 100% sure if it's the actual ozone layer or if the ozone layer was shown to me as something representative of this greater barrier that is around the planet and planets. Um, so keep that in mind, even though there's a strong connection there that I feel towards the ozone layer, but it could be a different layer, it could be something else that is similar to the ozone layer. The barrier around Earth and other planets, which prevented the planet from receiving the full source energy from the sun and the source knowledge from the sun, was fed with the lower vibration and control systems of the planet. The lower dimensional beings, the reptilians and other lower dimensional beings upon the planet, harvest energy from humans through fear and lower vibrations, which include what is considered lower vibration, trauma, sadness, depression, etc., etc. There is so much of that which goes on in your collective that you are aware of, but even more that happens behind closed doors that most of your collective is unaware of. This includes the worst types of lower vibrational energy, such as torture and fear induced upon humans that elicit an energy response that is particularly delightful for lower dimensional creatures such as reptilians with the agenda of keeping souls enslaved. This fear response feeds and strengthens the barrier created around your planet. However, this barrier is thinning more than 50%, and with the thinning barrier will expose the entire agenda of your dog-eat-dog -dog world. Every aspect that feeds the agenda of the reptilians, who have been in control and power for centuries, will all be exposed. This all has to happen in order to fully lift the veil or the barriers that have been keeping Earth in reptilian, lower dimensional, and vibrational rule. These things are already being exposed, and those who are awakened are knowledgeable of the truth. But it's not enough for only the awakened to be knowledgeable and aware of the truth. The entire collective, including unawakened souls, must become aware of the truth. 
unawakened souls must become aware that they have been part of a greater agenda of enslavement and soulless freedom in order to activate their neurotransmitter responsibilities towards the greater body. Your sun will expose the rest of the barrier still hidden, and when the barrier surrounding your planet fully breaks, you will find that there is no hiding truth, and the illusionary society that has been created for the benefit of lower dimensional enslavement of souls will be broken as well. The time is now. Things are happening fast. Many of you feel that there is a responsibility that you have to awaken others, but we must tell you that the division is so wide that there is nothing that most of you can do to awaken someone who cannot see. The division has become black and white, and only those who are able to step away from duality and separation and lean on their inner truth, which is knowing that you are non-physical source energy, having a physical experience for the greater expansion of all, those are the people who will be able to see everything, not just one side of things. And we spoke more about this, about how to connect to your inner truth first and then be able to open up truth outside of you in your physical reality that resonates with the truth within. So we talk all about navigating your physical reality with the guidance of your inner truth in episode 20. Again, I'll put that link below. So this is why it's so important to grab hold of your inner truth first to understand what your inner truth is so that you can begin to see that truth in your outer reality, but also to see the entire picture, not just one side, not in duality, but in wholeness. You must know that it is okay if you are unable to reach those who you love who may be stuck in the illusion of division. It is not your responsibility to awaken lost souls, but they are unique souls desiring the exact experience that they're going through. Your only responsibility is holding truth and freedom within, and holding an unconditional loving space for those people to step into when they do eventually awaken. That is your only responsibility. Every single person, no matter where you are in your belief systems, no matter where you are in your awakening, you are exactly where you need to be. And those who are unawakened, yes, there are things that you can do to get your truth out, but it's not about forcing anyone to believe your truth or to see the world the, the way that you see the world. It's just simply about holding space and everyone on their journey is exactly where they're supposed to be on their journey in alignment to what their greater soul desires to have as an experience upon this physical plane. If you feel called to share the knowledge that you hold within or the truth that you hold within, then do so from a space of simply sharing what you know as truth within you. Do so not from the space of forcing people to hear you, but do so only from the space of unconditionally holding loving space for others who are open to hearing what you have to say. There is no change when change is forced upon people, but there is massive change when you are able to hold space for people to step into when they are ready. You are very knowledgeable in your inner truth, Share it not with a loudspeaker, but share it with an open heart, and others who feel your open heart will begin to activate your messages within their own opening hearts, and change will ensue from the energetic vibration that you hold as truth. And that's what wanted to come through for this episode. We're going to continue speaking more about what's going on right now in the world, truth versus illusion in the next couple of episodes. Thank you everyone for being here and for listening in. This podcast can now be found on all podcast platforms. So listen and subscribe on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, Breaker. And as always, it's available on YouTube as well. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next episode. And remember that all is truly well. Oneness, love, and peace be with you.